Hi, welcome to my channel, One at a Time. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rain cover for your backpack. So I purchased some fabric from Ripstop by the Roll as um, I was led there by another YouTuber. Um, his channel is That Hiking Guy and his name is Chris. So thank you, Chris, for telling me where to find the supplies. Ripstop by the Roll sells a kit and it's very reasonably priced. I just bought the fabric from them and then I found the other things that I needed at the Army Surplus store. So let me show you what you need. Supplies for this project are some Ripstop waterproof fabric. This is the 1.6 ounce Sil Poly and I have one yard here and it's in an olive color. The scissors, um, some of the cording, it's an elastic cording and I have 10 feet here which I use every bit of it. I added some twill tape so that I could reinforce the edge where the cording is pulled tight and I got white so that I could use a fabric marker to write a name on it so I can label them and know whose is whose. A one of these lock, cord locks, you'll need just one of them and then some measuring tape. First we need to find out how much fabric we are going to have and to cut. So we take our pack, it can be full of our items for a trip like this one is for my daughter or you can just stuff it with blankets. You need the height as well as the width. So I laid it on a flat surface and I measure from that flat surface up and around the pack and then back to the flat surface and I get 45 inches for this pack. So you want to write that measurement down and the width. You want to measure the widest part of the pack. So my daughter's pack, she likes to carry her sleeping mat at the top and it is the widest point. So measure from your flat surface up and around and back to your flat surface and I get 39 and a half inches. So I'm going to write that measurement down. We have our measurements, our height, which we'll call A, and our width is B. We need to add three inches to each of those to accommodate what we call a casing or a channel for the elastic cord to run through on all sides of the bag. So, so I have laid the fabric out on this table and I will begin cutting. It's time to start on the channel. I'm going to show you how to do this. So you take your corner and you're going to measure down two inches and you're going to make a mark. Then you're going to measure two inches the other way on the other side I guess and you're going to make a mark. Turn your fabric over. You want those marks to be on the right side of the fabric and you're going to fold a triangle where those marks are just showing. Then fold over three quarters of an inch. It should be about there. And I use a closed pin to hold it in place. We don't want to use pins because we don't want to put holes in this fabric in any more places than we have to. So now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew right along this edge. Now we're going to create the casing to um, enclose the raw edge so we don't have any fraying. Um, and to help make it a little sturdier, we're going to roll it over twice with a three quarter inch width. So, three quarter inch, just double check. This is kind of fiddly. And then I put my clothespin in. So, three quarters of an inch. Roll it over. Another clothespin. It likes to slide around. So once we've got that done, we can go to the sewing machine and we can sew 
the seam. We are going to sew right down here, creating a gap um, between the fold and where we've stitched, um, which will make our channel or our casing where at the corners we can thread it through. Now that all the channels are sewn in, it's um, just a matter of threading the elastic cord through those channels and you want about a 10 foot piece that's continuous. So, just push it through. When you get to a corner, you'll have to redirect it almost to a corner here. So it's going to come out of your straight side and you just need to turn it and put it in the other side. So you're making a corner and have it go on. Once you've got the cord all through the casing or the channel around your rain cover, you just need to put the elastic cording through your cord lock. So when you get them through, then you just tie a knot and you're done. You're ready to put it on the pack. So with the rain cover finished, it's time to put it on the pack and see how that goes. So I've taken her sleeping mat off of the top because I don't think it will fit well um, on there. So we're just going to put it on like a shower cap on here. Where did I put her sleeping mat so we can slide it in right there behind me. There's a lot of stuff going on down here as we're all trying to get ready. Okay, I haven't strapped this on her bag yet, which might make this an easier fit, but we're just going to see if it'll fit inside here. And cover everything from the rain. Then you take the cord, I put the cord on the bottom, um, and then just tuck it inside pack. I think that's going to work for her. That's how it looks when it's all on. It's a nice tight fit, which is good. And this is again the Sil Poly Nylon 1.6 ounce fabric. So the fabric for the yard I got is 1.6 ounces. Then I cut a little bit off and I added the cord and the locks. So I'm thinking we're probably still in the two and a half ounce range. I don't know. Since I'm not an ultralight, haven't been watching the weight, and I don't have a scale, but I, I like the weight of it. I'm, that is my daughter's rain cover, and I think it's going to work out really well. I made another rain cover for my son's pack, which is a larger pack, um, out of the Sil Poly Nylon. No, it's not Sil Poly Nylon. It's Membrane Sil Poly, and it's 0.96 ounces for the yard of fabric that I used and then I add the cord in the lock. So I'm probably still coming in what I would consider very light. This fabric is amazing how light it is and how waterproof it is. I could make a sink out of this fabric. It will hold and carry water. So this will be for my son's pack. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and tutorial and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or let me know also what you use for rain and how you protect your gear from the weather. Till next time everybody, happy trails.